Turtle Beach is one of the leading brands when it comes to competitive gaming headsets, so today we're looking at their brand new Stealth 700 Gen 2 Max multi-platform gaming wireless headset. Compared to the previous model headsets, this one actually has about 20 hours of additional battery life, topping out at over 40 hours of battery life on a single charge. But not only that, if you happen to forget to charge your headset one day, you can actually get a 15 minute quick charge that gives you over 8 hours of gameplay time, which is pretty insane. Now the Max moniker of this headset is actually Max, not only because of the 40 hours of battery life, but also because it works with virtually any type of gaming console or device, including Xboxes, because it is officially licensed to work with Xboxes, but compared to the previous design, it doesn't use the proprietary Xbox wireless connectivity. Instead, it uses a USB-A dongle, so that way it can work with different platforms without having to buy additional dongles or a different headset. It'll work with Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, tablets, phones, PCs, Macs, you name it it'll probably work with it because it also has Bluetooth connectivity as well now I'm not sure how much weight IGN is pulling these days but they do say this is the best Xbox Series X and S wireless gaming headset on the market that's pretty strong wording now the packaging looking great feeling like a premium unboxing experience we're looking at a durable and comfortable design with a tough metal reinforced headband paired with AeroFit cooling gel infused memory foam ear cushions which sound pretty great. We have a Gen 2 flip to mute mic that actually conceals inside of the headset when muted so that way you know nobody's going to be hearing you which is pretty nice. I like that. We have maximum compatibility so you can play your best on any sort of console or device. It features nano clear speakers with an improved internal design housing precision tuned 50mm nano clear speakers for realistic sound imaging. Also included is an app-based audio customization so you can easily adjust audio settings, activate presets, and program the mappable buttons and dial with the Turtle Beach Audio Hub mobile app. Along with dynamic surround sound optimized to deliver immersive spatial audio with Windows Sonic, Dolby Atmos, DTS Headphones X, as well as 3D audio for PS5. And although this does support Dolby Atmos unlike other headsets on the market, it doesn't include Dolby Atmos subscriptions so you will have to purchase that separately on your device. Now with that being said, let's pop this bad boy open and take a look at this thing and okay. <laughs> It's kind of just looks like it's just thrown in there, although I guess it's not, but you know, could have been better. But here we go, we got the headset in here. It's looking pretty nice. Yeah, nice little soft touch material here. Oh, this headset does actually have some weight to it, a little bit heavier than some other ultralight headsets I've tried. Inside the box, we have some literature, a USB A to USB Type C charging cable. Finally, a headset with USB Type C. I don't know what these other companies are doing. As well as the USB A dongle. This is a surprisingly big box for this little dongle. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> now looking at this dongle, it is very small. It has an LED indicator light on it, as well as an Xbox switch, which is going to be used for Xbox devices, and a USB option for literally everything else. Now with that being said, we got the headset right here. I really like the way this looks. It has a nice design. These actually turn in so you can actually have them on your chest like so and you're not using them so that's very cool although these do have some weight but remember it does have a metal reinforced headband so you're gonna expect a little bit of weight but seriously compared to those ultra lightweight ones this thing is pretty hefty on the sides we do have some turtle beach branding it is embossed you can actually feel it looks good we have this nice little gap here for design purposes looking nice very cool it is what it is up top turtle beach branding of course nice matte black design all over really liking it you can see the metal actually peeking through so you know they're not fooling you now over here on the left side is where everything's going down we have two little rolling knobs here one is for chat and game mix and one is for volume overall we have a button to switch between the different modes a power button a bluetooth pairing button an led indicator light as well as the all-important usb type c charging port that supports 15 minute quick charging for eight hours of gameplay, which is pretty awesome. Now I actually just noticed this little gap here isn't just for show, it actually does serve a purpose. Pretty cool. Now if we make our way down here, we actually have the little stubby microphone, which pops out like so, so you can talk, and then easily fold it in and it'll mute the audio automatically, which is always nice. So when the microphone's in, you're not talking. When it's out, guess what? They can hear you and can actually extend a little bit more. So very nice. Has two little options here. Okay, pretty cool. Over on the right side, literally nothing to see, and you can actually extend this with the metal to how big you want it. Locks into place. I feel like the right side is definitely more tense than the left side. 
Left side is a little bit looser. That's a little bit disappointing to see, but you know, it should be fine. Up top, we do have a padded headband. Very nice. And then we have these Aerofit cooling gel infused memory phone ear pads, which are actually very soft and feel very nice. And then inside, of course, we have those 50 millimeter nano clear speakers. I mean, overall, this is looking like a good headset, feeling very strong. I mean, stretching this out, I mean, it kind of feels a little bit tense. So I hope I don't bust this thing trying to put it over my big head. But it's looking good, feeling good, just has some weight to it, which feels like quality, but, you know, might be a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not sure yet. Now, with that being said, let me put these things on and see how they actually feel. Let me stretch it out. And this is as big as it gets. It doesn't really pull off that much. It's very tense. So let's put these things on. All right, very good at canceling out the background noise around me. It definitely engulfs my ears. Feels very comfortable, actually. I really like those memory foam ear pads. Very soft. I like it. Now, the headband, although it is padded, I do feel it putting pressure on my head. It's not the most comfortable headband I've felt, so that could definitely be improved. But the real star here are these memory foam gel-infused cooling ear cushions, which feel very comfortable. I like that. So now, let me see. Where's the microphone at? Kind of lost it there it is right here you can pull it out like so if you want it up like this or pull it down like so and right now you would be able to hear me if i was talking and you can easily pop it up just to mute it like so very easy now how do you guys think i look i feel like these definitely feel like quality on me i really like the air cushions once more i mean that feels very nice compared to other ones i've tried but i do feel that these do have weight on my head so i'm not sure how uncomfortable they're gonna get after using them for an extended period of time all right just got them powered on i could Oh, already I can hear myself coming through the mic with that little microphone monitoring system. Battery level high right out of the box, so that's always a good sign. And now with that being said, right now here's a raw 100% unedited audio sample coming directly from the microphone on this Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Max headset directly to your ears. So what you hear is what you're going to get. And in five seconds, I'm actually going to scream to make this peak, or hopefully it doesn't peak. Hopefully it does have some noise canceling technology because when you're in an intense gaming session screaming that something's going on, you don't want to blow out everyone's ears because they're going to mute you, block you, and you're never going to have fun ever again online. So five, four three, two, one. Oh my god, guys, go, 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 he's at me, he's taking me, he's taking me! Up, 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 ah! The grenade got me, man. Okay, that was really bad. But hopefully it didn't peak. If it did, then this headset is an instant fail because people scream and they get really loud while they're playing games. And if it peaks, gets distorted, it's a terrible headset. But other than that, right now I can hear myself talking very clearly through the mic monitoring. It's very good. The connection looks like it's stable. These ear cushions are very soft, form fitting, and comfortable. Not really sure about the cooling technology, but you know, I guess time will tell. But overall, these do feel very great and comfortable, even though they are heavier weight than the ultralight headsets that I've tried. Now we'll get onto some gaming to test it out and see how well they actually sound and how well they actually work in a gaming session. <laughs> That's embarrassing, guys. I can't believe... I don't know. I should have got him the first time. I'm just saying. But so far, it does sound good. That grenade explosion was very loud, very bassy, sounded like an actual explosion. Sounds very good so far. Man! All right, so just played a couple gaming sessions. Everything was great. The explosions, bam, very bassy, sounded amazing. The audio quality overall sounded great, whether you're gaming or watching movies or listening to music, because you can use these on your phone to listen to music, take phone calls, all that stuff. I listened to the sample of the microphone recording and I'm actually pretty impressed. It sounds very crisp and clear. Even when I was screaming, it did cancel it out so it didn't peak. It didn't get all distorted and blow out your eardrums because nobody ever wants that to happen. Now, as far as comfort goes, very comfortable. They stay perfectly in place even when I'm moving around. I really like these Aerofit memory foam cushions here. They feel very soft and comfortable on my ears. I'm really liking that. Even though this headset is heavier weight than other headsets, you don't really notice it all that much because of the comfort 
comfort you're getting from the memory foam ear cushions. Now, as far as the microphone goes, like I said, it sounds good and you can also move it and mute it just like so, so nobody can hear you when you don't wanna be heard and that way you can see from your peripheral vision that the microphone is up so you know no one's gonna hear you. You're like, oh, I forgot, I'm muted, hold up. Let me just pull this thing down and then you can talk again. It's very easy, very intuitive, I really like it. Now, overall, this headset's actually pretty nice. Audio quality, good. Microphone quality, good. Comfort level, good. Build quality actually feels very solid even though it does have a bit of weight to it. And I'm really liking everything overall. It feels like a very good headset and I can't wait to get into some serious competition. Okay, I'm not really super competitive, but I can't wait to go play a lot of more games with this headset because it feels very good. Now, keep in mind, remember, this works on virtually any console and device, including Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, mobile, tablets, PCs, Macs, but personally, I'm just gonna be using it on my Xbox, so it kinda seems like getting the Max version doesn't make sense if you're only using it on one console, although it does sound good and has 40 hours of battery life, so you know, you gotta weigh your pros and cons and see if you wanna spend the extra money compared to the older model that only works on maybe just Xbox or maybe just PlayStation. But all in all, I could definitely recommend this Turtle Beach Stealth 700 Max Gen 2 headset with the longest name ever. <laughs> because it sounds good, feels good, and works very well.